Hey, Jeff Howard here at KaiBunny.com, and I want to talk about extremities and keeping them warm. This one is about gloves. If your hands get cold, what do I do? What should I wear? And you know, I just want to give you some ideas of what is out there. Now, we carry more than a few different ones, and if you're in an area where it's not super, super cold, you just want to have something to kind of extend your riding, um, you can look at the O'Neills. The O'Neills have got a really thin, this is like a one mil neoprene, kind of keeps that warmth in there. Um, and they are really nice and real simple. They don't have much of the pre-curve to it, but again, there's not a whole lot of tension there to give you fatigue in your arm, but a really good simple type to keep you warm. If you're just out there, your hands are always up in the air or whatever that is. The next step is they got the three mil. These are the same, they're just real simple. They don't have too much pre-curve to them, but they're gonna put a little tension on you. And that's the biggest thing about gloves is fatigue, I'll talk about here. Now, the next ones that we got from Mystic and Ion, these are what you call the pre-curve. These are the most popular out there that we sell. And the reason is, is they keep your hands a lot warmer, but you can see that they already have that shaping in them. So your muscles are not trying to pull against that neoprene to keep that grip on the bar. These are the Mystics here. And what I like about them is they also come way up on the sleeves and most of these do too. So you can tuck your wetsuit up around here or these around it and get this Velcro nice and closed. And you're basically gonna kind of eliminate uh, having any issues with um, uh, the water shooting up in there. So you can see how this is gonna fit. It's really nice and comfortable and it keeps that pre-curve. So you can see if I'm holding a bar, it's not a lot of tension to keep that grip on that bar. Now, the other thing I wanna mention about when you're using gloves or whatever it is in kiteboarding, don't forget your chicken loop line that runs through the center. A lot of people will clamp that uh, their hand right around the bar and the line will wear on your gloves. So try to keep that wear down. Um, the main thing is, is keeping your hand off to the side or both hands on your bar. That's something about it. Now, after you get to the pre-curve, these keep it all individual. Um, the other one you go to when it gets really cold is you're going to jump down to the mitt. The mitt keeps your hands the warmest. It doesn't have a lot of the pre-curve to it. Um, I'm guessing they're just not going to build that into it, but what it does is it keeps your fingers closer together and it keeps that warmth inside of the glove. So you'll see when it gets really extreme cold, a lot of guys jump into the mitts and this is a mystic. So that, those are your options of keeping your hands warm. The main thing about any extremity is keeping your body warm, having a good wetsuit on, keeping your core warm, extends that blood out to the wing, uh, to the fingertips, the feet, and the head. So don't forget that. That's one of the most important. Get a good quality wetsuit and then jump into your extremities. That's Jeff Howard here at Cogboarding.com.